as a seller and as a buyer we want to know how much is it going to change what's going to change what we going from and what are we going to hey hello how are you hey y'all welcome back to another video on a series on my channel makari 101 side note look i was thinking of like a million different unique things to call this makari series i promise i did huh makari mommies <laughs> Miss Macari, Macari Files, Macari Vibes. It, it was a lot of things, but it was just too much, too much. And I'm gonna dive into different things on different videos. It's kind of like class. It's kind of like school. It's kind of like some place you can come to learn and get ideas and get tips. So we just gonna call it Macari 101. Tell me if you like it. <laughs> or if you got a better idea for this series that I have on my channel now, comment down below. What should we call this series? For now, it's Macari 101. I mean, that kind of gets to the point, right? <sighs> Ignore this entire human being on my face. It's my luck. No, we're not perfect over here, so. <sighs> Today's video, I am bringing you a couple of updates. One main update to being shipping for Macari, but my first video to this series, um, I was coming back into Macari, so I wasn't fully refreshed on all of the updates. So some things that I said had been updated since my last video. So let me just touch on that because I want to make sure that I'm bringing you guys right information, updated information to help you become a seller, buyer, whatever you choose to do with Macari. So the first thing is I mentioned that the deposits have to be on Sundays. It used to be that way. It no longer is. As of now, Macari will deposit all throughout the week. I'll go ahead and put the specific wording on their site right here, just so that you are up to date with how you're able to receive your deposits. I'm excited about that because I mean, I didn't really mind waiting until Sunday, but who doesn't want it when you want it? So it's good to know that you can get it whenever you want. You don't have to wait a whole week if you you miss the deadline and as a seller you get paid quicker you don't feel like your money's on hold and second update from my last video is Macari used to be all app no website all app you have to use the app you are able to use their website log in search things buy things sell things chat full function you can do all of that on Macari.com as of now you can use it on the app and you can use it on the website I like both but I prefer the app but you have both options so you don't just have to use the app now let's talk about something that's about to happen like real soon and that is Macari increasing their shipping prices once again now don't get me wrong I am a pretty logical person I understand with businesses you have changes you got changes of prices changes of demand changes of requirements it is going to happen but they recently increased their prices so this is just another increase so as a seller i'm not excited about it i am obviously a fan of macari i am an advocate of macari but regardless of how much i love to sell on macari and i like the flexibility and freedom that you have to sell on there um i'm always going to be honest and upfront with how i feel about anything i'm at bias so without talking too much i'm gonna get straight into the specifics i wanted to make this video not to rant or complain about makari's shipping increase i mean that's not going to change it you like it you don't like it this is what's about to be it will probably change again in the future maybe for the better maybe for the worse but here's what's going on right now this video is simply just to inform and educate you on what is going to take place with the shipping prices going forward as of february the 25th so a couple of days ago i got an email from makari and i'll put that email here just so that you can kind of see it um and i'll read it off for you guys important shipping update new pricing and shipping protection effective february the 25th at 9 p.m pacific time prices of shipping using our prepaid labels are increasing we are moving our shipping prices closer to market rates while still offering approximately 30 percent off retail we'll continue to offer the option to ship on your own we remain committed to making shipping easy even if it's your first time we offer a 
single price for shipments to any of the 50 states. This allows you to sell to the millions of people using the app for one price. If you're shipping across the country or around the corner, the price is the same, no surprises. In bold, I guess this is the benefit, $200 shipping protection now included. To provide a peace of mind for your shipments, we're introducing $200 shipping protection. Your shipments using Mercari prepaid labels will include insurance up to $200 for items that are lost or damaged in transit. You can file claims right from the app. I feel like that was a lot, but I wanted to, instead of just putting a bunch of words there, wanted to read it so that you could easily follow it. And for anybody who just got this email and closed it, or got the email and just saw all these words and was just like, get to the point, what are you saying? The bottom line is our prices are increasing. I wanna mention this is not a Macari like software update update. So it's not something you're gonna be able to avoid by not updating your app or um, not accepting something. It literally says there's no need to update the Macari app. You will see these changes on February the 25th. Any listings made before February the 25th at 9 p.m. Pacific time will not be impacted at this time. At this time. At this time. Interesting. Macari knows that this is, um, something. We recognize these price increases will be difficult, but believe they are necessary to continue improving the marketplace. We appreciate your support and look forward to selling together long into the future. So boom, that's just the black and white of it all. But we all know as a seller and as a buyer, we want to know how much is it going to change? What's going to change? What are we going from and what are we going to? What I did is I grabbed where it currently is when it comes to the shipping prices before they swap it out. And I grab what it's going to be changing to. So I'm going to be inserting those onto the screen. I have them side by side here on my computer so that I can like visually see it. So you'll kind of see what I'm looking at. To the left is where the shipping prices currently are. And to the right is where the shipping prices are going to be as of February the 25th. I'm more than likely going to post this video on February the 25th. But what I'm showing you in this video is just a real raw side by side of what you had, what you're getting. So the first thing that I do notice right away, and this is kind of gonna affect me for the things that I sell, it was a $4.25 flat fee for anything less than a pound. Um, so that helped me a lot because some of my packages would probably be like 0 0.6 ounces or 0 0.7 ounces, hell even 0 0.9 ounces, but it was technically under a pound. So I still got that $4.25 price. It's not going up by that much, but it's split. So that $4.25 now is going to be anything under half of a pound. And basically from half of a pound to one pound, it's going to be $5.25. So that's a dollar increase on that for USPS. Over to the right for UPS, that literally doesn't change. The amount of days doesn't change, the pricing doesn't change. So this is mainly just for FedEx and USPS. Before, if you were shipping a package one to three pounds, with USPS it was $8. Going forward, it's going to be $11, so that's a $3 increase. For FedEx, that was $6.50. That is going to be a $9.90, so that's a $3.40 increase. Three to 10 pounds with USPS was $13. Going forward, it's going to be $16, so that's another $3 increase. With FedEx, three to 10 pounds was $9.80 and that is increasing to $11.50. Look, I'm not the best with math. That's like uh, $2 more, about a dollar something more. It's more, so you can do that math. It's going from $9.80 to $11.50. 10 to 20 pounds is the cap for USPS. That was $20, that is increasing $10. For FedEx, it was $15 and that's increasing to $17. So that's a $2 increase. So that's honestly a huge difference where USPS is switching $10 more, FedEx is $2 more. So obviously you'll be shipping with FedEx. One thing I will mention that I do notice with USPS, what you are getting is faster shipping. So with USPS and all of their shipping options, it's one to three days. So the buyer is definitely gonna get your packages sooner, but that's coming at a price. FedEx is just increasing their price for the same amount of days. Macari mentioned that they still offer 30% less than their retail price. And look, I don't work for USPS, FedEx, or UPS, and I am not knowledgeable in any way about how often 
shippers update their shipping prices, the retail price. But for example, if you go all the way down to the bottom of 100 to 150 pounds, I've never shipped anything that heavy and I'm not sure if I ever actually would. But let's just say 100 to 150 pound package with FedEx was $70 and retailed $89.28, but is now, after February the 25th, going to be $90, $20 more. Um, but it says the retail price was $267.83. So retail price went from $89 to $267. I don't know, to me it just feels like, you know when you're shopping online and you're like seeing all these blowout prices and they give you the retail price and it's got like a slash through it, you know, and it just makes you feel like you're getting such a deal because, you know, because this bracelet, right? This bracelet was $5,000, but you can get it for $5.99 if you purchase it within the next three minutes. Never mind that. It just, it just looks a little funny is all I'm gonna say. But regardless, these are going to be the price increases. So for the rest of FedExes, I'm just gonna run them down real quick. It was $30 for 20 to 40 pounds. It's going to $35. 40 to 70 pounds was 40 and going to 50. 70 to 100 pounds was 55 going to 65. And 100 to 150 was 70 going to 90. These are the price increases that are going into effect for Macari all around the board from February the 25th going forward. I wanted to bring this information to y'all just as buyers and sellers because it's going to affect how people post listings. It's going to affect how many people buy things. It's going to increase the price of what you're selling and it's also going to increase your out of pocket if you are somebody who posts listings for free shipping. So this is something to definitely pay attention to. It's something to be aware of and it's something to just know about going forward. I really, really appreciate all of the comments, feedback the back and forth that we have in the comments on this Macari series because I mean because sometimes somebody will drop a comment below and teach me something. It's very very important to me that you know we create this community of just people trying to help one another do better. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you will I still use the Macari app? Yes. Now this might not sound like a lot to some. This might sound like what the f to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. You're gonna get these obstacles. They're going to come. If you're very, very serious about selling, I'm sure there are gonna be ways to make it work for you. It is gonna be interesting to see how things are going to be going forward. I mean, people are still gonna sell and people are still gonna buy, no matter how high or how low they drop them or raise them. That is just the buying market and these types of apps. One thing about it is that this update is not just affecting me. It's not just affecting you. It is affecting everybody on the platform. So, I mean, of course, unless there was a posting listed prior to the shipping change, which eventually that will be null and void going forward. Everybody's going to have the same shipping prices. So everybody's pretty much going to be competing against the same prices. So it's not going to be more difficult for one than it is for the other. So if you are serious about selling, you can still make money on the app. You just got to be very, very smart about it. But yeah, this video wasn't like a tips and tricks. It wasn't like a how to or anything like that. But in this Macari series, I wanna bring y'all real information that's going to help you, that will benefit you as both a seller and a buyer. And this is a very, very important update that will affect everybody on that platform period. So yeah, I hope this information was helpful to you. Feel free to comment below. Tell me what you think about this shipping increase. But that is it for today's video. I hope that this was helpful information to you guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. If you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. There are going to be plenty of more videos coming. Of course, so much more on this Macari series, but not just that. So much more that will just ultimately help you in life. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Um, and I'll see y'all in my next video. <laughs>